yeah, it's just made a class a lot easier and faster. I'm also able to email my teacher about any questions I have on the lab or on the homework, just straight on my iPad, which is really easy. It was extremely helpful because all of the materials and resources we needed were right on the iPad, which makes everything a lot more efficient. The mobile learning initiative expanded in the 2012-13 school year to 650 students enrolled in a variety of classes. These students received iPads to support their work in both the participating pilot classes as well as their overall learning activities at Nutrier. The program seeks to put students in control and at the center of their learning, connect them to the world outside of Nutrier, develop media literacy, as well as foster critical thinking and collaboration skills. At a, a quick glance, and through the Canvas app and through the SpeedGrader app, um, it's just I'm able to swipe through the, the student submissions very easily, very efficiently. It's something I can do in, in a matter of minutes. It would have taken me so much longer. Participating teachers and students report significant improvements in workflow, which leads to increased homework completion, better preparation for class, and allows for a more engaging, in-depth, and meaningful experience in the classroom. I was able to give them a template and, and they drew. And so as I was telling the story and as they were contributing and, and we were deciding which way to go and what the problem would be and what the solution would be, um, I had all the students draw. You know, I've seen a, a huge increase in, in student engagement when we do activities like this. And then the next day we revisited it. Um, I had a small quiz, true-false quiz, maybe five or six questions about the story. And I allowed them to use their pictures um, to help them um, in this quiz. It's not just me. You know, you are an equal part of this process academically. One assignment that we like to do is to get the students to do some interviews, to get into a conversation with someone. One way that that's changed with the iPads is that the students are able to record video of their interview. The students are actually going out to meet different administrators in the school to find out what they do. And in all of these interviews, the students are going to be able to practice the questions they want to ask so that they can practice their speaking skills. The recording of the interview allows the students to have something that they can bring back to class and ultimately take home. They can listen to that recording multiple times and they can really make sure that they understand exactly what the person said. Explain Everything is, a, is an app that is uh, uh, iPad-based, uh, so it's not something you will be able to do on, on a computer. Uh, it allows students to input pictures, to draw pictures, to uh, write text uh, by hand or by a text font, uh, to uh, narrate while they draw and while they manipulate the picture. And uh, uh, they have to manipulate these images in a way that is that is telling a story, answering the four topic question that I have uh, previously uh, explained. In addition to creating content, students have access to information immediately for self-directed research in different ways than they had in the past. The search feature um, in iBooks turned out to be an interesting thing. We had to shift our paradigm from telling everybody to be on page 126 to finding a sort of key phrase that flagged the paragraph for us. Some interesting things happened. They also found that maybe a certain phrase appeared more than once in the book that they didn't necessarily notice. And the fact that all of those things would be compiled in iBooks let them see patterns in the text, and also patterns in their own notes. So they had a larger, almost metacognitive sense of what was going on with their own note taking that, that can come from a paper text, but just was a lot easier for them to see when all their notes were pulled out of the text and revealed to them in a single document. It's a lot easier than using paper because you don't have to worry about losing the notes or rewriting the notes and it's all right there and you can have a lot more in a lot smaller space. A good example of this is when we have to go home and write up a journal for the book we're reading in class. Some people have to worry about writing it up and putting it in the backpack and hoping that they don't forget it. And if they do, then there's a problem. We can go home right away, type up the questions and submit it to Canvas. And immediately it's done and we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the night. The note taking is very helpful because you're able to type quicker rather than jotting notes down. And this allows for like quicker class, like it allows you time to understand the material better. And also with the, Canvas, you can 
go online and download worksheets and keep everything in a folder, which makes it a lot more organized. It's enhanced our class because we're completely paperless and it's really easy to turn things in because uh, nothing gets lost and we don't have to worry about due dates or whatever because it shows up on a calendar, on the iCal or on the Canvas app. We use WebAssign to do our homework on the iPad online and we use the iPad to turn in labs and do the labs actually on our lab or on our iPad and um, like with the labs we're able to put on like graphs and like make it really neat and clean and organized. If I want to listen to the actual um, the actual lecture and not have to worry about taking notes, which I usually do, I just take a picture of the notes instead of having to worry about um, trying to write it all down quickly and then like half listening to the lecture, it's really easy to do it that way. Students are able to actually engage in the lectures more than they've ever been able to in the class. They're not scribbling notes out really, really fast or trying just to keep up with that pace. They're able to actually just look up and be part of it. The iPad, it's not just this tool that's laying around. It's something that's extremely important. So we looked at both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. These two topics represent a lot of very complicated chemical procedures and can be very difficult for kids to visualize and therefore grasp. Using the Animation Creator really enabled the students to take ownership of a visual representation of the step-by-step -step chemical process required to make cell energy useful. For one of the lab activities we did, which was uh, making a movie, um, we were using the iPad and we were actually taking them outside of school and using them uh, for activities such as like filming and other like recording and you could use it to make the script. All of these together kind of really put the student in charge of making more of their own content they can use to help them learn and help them review uh, for upcoming exams and tests. As students create their own content, it helps them understand difficult concepts and demonstrate their knowledge. The audience for their work can include peers, teachers, and people beyond the walls of Nutrier. When working with peers, students can explore learning and create content together. Having the display and everyone working together, it created um, a sense of classroom family, so they were all learning together. So I divided the students into groups on the by board, so their, their characters were displayed, yet their IDs or their names were not on there. They were simply known as, you're the one that's writing in red or green or blue. So that's created a sense of um, less anxiety, okay? um, yet they were still held accountable. So if I went to a certain board, and whoever's character was not written correctly, I could go in um, and imply, you know, tell them without being targeted to any student what was wrong. Before they uh, turn in their final project, I asked them to uh, record in uh, French and in English because I would like to share it with uh, the rest of, the, of Nutria. So hopefully we'll be able to have some uh, kind of a, uh, um, maybe a station, in uh, the rotunda for everybody to, to see the final project in English uh, for most students, but also in French for those who are studying French. From collaboration to increased efficiency to constructing knowledge to the fundamentals of teaching and learning, the iPad is making a significant impact at Nutrier by putting students at the center of their own learning.